guys, uh, I decided to make a series about learning how to make a web application using Spring Boot and Spring Framework, especially. Uh, and uh, we're gonna use uh, other some other uh, technologies such uh, uh, database management with the JPA, uh, J uh, J Java Persistent API, and Hibernate, and and we're gonna use a uh, template engine. It uh, called Tameleaf if you ever hear it about it and uh, we're gonna use uh, some other technology too such as uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, probably jQuery and Ajax and uh, so on so first of all we're gonna need to do some installation over here so uh, Obviously, we need uh, an IDE. I personally prefer Eclipse because it's good and f open source and, and it's awesome. Uh, you can use uh, other IDEs such as uh, IntelliJ A or whatever. So I'm using, I'm here, I'm using Eclipse. You can download Eclipse from the official website here, this one. You can also use a, a, a Spring Boot uh, uh, IDE uh, that Spring community provide. It's called Spring uh, STS. It's uh, an abbreviation for the name Spring Tool Suite or something like that. So we're gonna need the Eclipse and so you need to install all of those so either we start and you can we can start our project from here it's called spring initializer to start our project then it's like a, a, a tool that's a website that's made that starts your project and make it all the auto configuration for it and for you and and you can download it and import to Eclipse and start uh, working on it, but uh, I'm I'm here using a, a plugin for Spring uh, Spring Boot in Eclipse, so I can start my project here. So we go to the file, new file, uh, Spring Starter Project. So if you don't uh, have already spring plugin uh, spring boot plugin installed in eclipse you you won't find the, this option so all you have to need is to download the plugin from the from here i guess from here market uh, uh, eclipse marketplace you can find it there and download it so and here we go we so we're gonna start our new project This will start. Uh, wait, what happened? Sorry, I had some problem in the, the internet, so uh, my project wasn't pulling up right. So uh, this is the same, uh, the same. Uh, like the, the same, the same, the same thing as uh, here in the Spring Initializer. So we have it, we have it here on Eclipse. Uh, we're gonna give uh, leave this like how it is. We're gonna give uh, our project name. We Spring Boot Boot. Web, web application application and we for example com beam again uh, spring artificate we, we we leave it like that the version we can leave it 
description demo project for Spring Boot here. Package. Let's do. Come. Ready. And we hit next. And we choose our dependency. So, what we gonna need? We need a web. Spring web. Yes, yeah, Spring web. To start, uh, to do our web application, create the build web include RESTful application using Spring MVC. So we need this one and the. Uh, this and we need uh, a GPA Java persistence API string data GPA and we need SKL my SKL for database And uh, also we need a uh, uh, template engine, it's called theme, leaf, uh, what else we need, uh, see, my SQL, is it the right one? So So that's all we need now, and we click finish, and we wait the, until the uh, Eclipse fetch our project from the the website Spring IO initializer. So we we'll wait a little bit. So here's our project is uh, ready. We're gonna discover it here. Our base package it contains our main class, the application. Our application, let's see, it's just uh, the main class with uh, this annotation Spring uh, Boot application. So, this is our main class. And uh, we have the under the 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 uh, resource main uh, uh, resource main resource source main resource a static folder for all the static file we need um, such a uh, uh, CSS JavaScript and our image and stuff uh, a template. Uh, folder this will uh, we will include here all, all our HTML uh, templates here and we need this application property here we will define our application proper property such a uh, SQL driver MySQL driver some other other uh, other uh, property as well uh, we're gonna see in the next video how to uh, how to configure our database and connect it with uh, our project so we can start uh, we can start uh, doing stuff and and we have and here we have uh, our Maven dependency we, you see the all the dependency we need here. This is the all this because of uh, Spring Boot. It made it made it easier for us to pull up the to pull up for us all the dependency and the, so we can see our dependency here in the, the palm file palm XML. So here is it. We have the 
so the spring framework boot and this is the, the java the the spring boot started for java persistence api and uh, to deal with the with the with database and make transaction and so on this is the theme leaf for the templates agent we're gonna in line we're gonna use it's called theme leaf this is uh, started for web uh, this is mysql our uh, our connector for uh, that we need to configure our our database um, this is for a test i don't know if we need this but let's just skip it this is all uh, this is uh, some other plugin as well so we may add uh, other dependency as well so uh, we can add uh, the dependency any dependency we, we want from here from maven the repository google we go to google so maven repo and here we will f uh, we can find all all the dependency we can uh, we are like to add for example we may add hypernet as well so you see But we're not gonna add anything for example just uh, an example how we're gonna add the dependency so we just copy and paste this into our palm file and uh, and uh, the the maven gonna take care of uh, fetching all the dependency into our projects so that's it uh, all th this is all wh what we're gonna see for now and for the next video we'll start making uh, all the configuration over here and uh, we will build this uh, we'll discover how to build and uh, our uh, package and classes and add uh, some resources here here static file and html templates and so on so see you next video